Yo, what is up, Madden Mastermind? How are y'all doing? It is Monster Chappie. We back in this thing. It's been a minute. Sorry about that. But if you didn't know, I'm giving out my entire offensive scheme for free. So that's what you're seeing right now. And um, to be able to see all of it, all you need to do is check out my YouTube channel. Um, slash Monster Chappie, you need to be definitely subscribed to the Madden Mastermind channel if you're not already, because I'm going to be posting segments of it on here as well. And then if you want to learn how to do the user catches that are going to make this offense that much nastier, you need to go ahead and get yourself a membership on Madden Mastermind. And it's going to be absolutely in the free section over there. So just sign up on MaddenMastermind.com. Get your membership, get your access, and learn how to do some face catches, some spec catches, and some beautiful things like that. That no matter what offense you're running, it's going to make it better. I promise you that much. Now, on my channel, I've already broken down the personnel and things like that. So you're going to definitely want to check that out. Um, this is actually part three. And I've already broken down the single back jumbo Z as well as the single back deuce pair. So naturally, we're going to be looking at the single back dice slot in today's video. Now, the main plays we're going to be running out of this are going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be running middle slant, slot cross, wide receiver fade, PA corner post, and PA tight end <clears throat> PA tight end screen. Sorry about that. And now, in each formation in this playbook, I have broken down what I feel are the best runs out of each formation, and I will share those runs with you guys. Now, in particular, out of the dice slot, there's a few that definitely stand out. One of them is this halfback cutback, um, halfback inside zone, 0 1 trap in zone weak. I don't really like the stretch or the draw, but definitely the inside zone. I don't really like the counter or the toss. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the misdirection out of this play or formation in particular either. But zone weak, 0-1 trap, and the halfback cutback, definitely good options for your running attack out of this particular formation. So let's go ahead and look at the halfback cutback real quick. And I will show you why I like this play. You kind of get like a little bit of action there with the guys on the left. And a lot of the times you can get outside and get some really big gains. Um, that's a terrible run defense by the computer. I don't know why the heck they would come out in some, some foolishness like that. And look, there, they're probably running a free safety blitz. We can go ahead and flip it to the other side. Go right between the guard and the tackle there. And uh, get some pretty good yardage. So like I said, this is a really solid run. Now... You're not guaranteed a whole lot of yards on this play, but it's definitely a play where it has some pretty big play potential depending on how your block's set up. Now, if you look at some of the other plays in here for the rushing attack, on one trap, I'm sure you've seen it a million times, so I'm not going to break that down again. Um, and then as far as the zone week or the uh, <clears throat> inside zone here, pretty much the same concept with these two runs. These are what I call very safe runs. You're not going to probably get as many yards as the halfback cutback. But at the same time, halfback cutback, you could potentially you lose yards. Whereas on these inside zones, you're guaranteed. Well, I will not say guaranteed, but you're 95, 99% of the time going to get positive yards. Halfback cutback, you might get 30 yards. You might lose one or two. With these zone plays, you know, you might gain two. You might gain three. But you're going to gain some yards, and you know, if the block's set up right, you definitely can gain more, like we did on that play. But a lot of times, you're going to just get two, three, four, five yards, nice, safe yards. So, you know, this year, there's, I, I think I've perfected the run game, not to toot my own horn, but I've ran the ball a lot. And I will share you with you guys the breakdowns of what are the truly best runs in the game, at least out of this playbook, which is Denver, by the way, if you didn't know. And um, I, I will show you the best ways to run them and things like that as we go throughout the guide. Um, and I was, I've already shared what the best moves are and things like that. So be sure to watch all the parts in this scheme so that you can know, you know what to look for, what you want to do, and things like that. So there are certain runs in the game that are really good for big plays. And at the same time, those runs usually are the runs that you can lose yards on. And then there are runs that are safe for like two to three to five yards. And depending on the defense, those safe runs can actually be the runs that get you the big plays. 
there's certain defenses where your inside zones are going to be a lot better than cutbacks. They're going to be a lot better than strong powers, than even the counters out of the pistol. It'll be better than those runs. It just depends on the defense that your opponent is playing. Now, I've talked about that enough. Let's move into the pass. Like I said, we're trying to get through this scheme nice and quick for you guys. And so, first things first, I want to look at probably the main play I run out of this, which is slot cross. And let's just go with a cover three. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So first off, your audibles. Middle slants is an audible, and that is definitely one of the plays we use. Inside zone is your run, and slot cross is your um, you know, LB or L1 audible here, and that is awesome because those are three plays we actually use. So first things first, whenever you're putting together a scheme, look at your audibles. Now, if you change the custom audibles. This really doesn't apply to you. You can change your audibles to whatever you want. But if you're running a stock play or stock formation, especially like in Mutt, you need to know what your stock audibles are so that way you don't waste the play. So instead of coming out in slot cross, what I would do is I would come out in like halfback cutback. Or I would come out in PA corner post or PA tight end screen. And if I want to run this play, I would just audible into it. So that's one really quick tip for you guys to be more effective offensively. Now, let's go ahead and break down this play. What hot routes do I like to make? What I like to usually do is I will put Bryant here on a drag, and then I will put Miller on an out route here. Now, those this is typically how I run the play. Now, like I said, you need to know how to do the face catch because the guy on the right, you can either face catch or you can go over the top. The rest of the play, you will kind of just see how it develops. It's a lot of little dink and dunk stuff, little dink and dunk here. Um, a little dink and dunk there. Uh, one tip for you guys that I haven't broke down already is this right here. What I'll do is I'll go into practice mode. I'll sit back here and kind of just see who gets open. Now, what, how do I, what do I mean by that? What I'll do is I'll just go run back so I don't get sacked and I'll wait like five to six seconds, you know, because practice mode, the block sheds are insane, but you just run through the play uh, against a particular defense and you see who gets open so obviously you don't want to focus on the quarterback here but you say okay i got this drag i can hit this drag right here that's one of your reads actually on the play and then you have this guy going across the middle here now you can hit him right here uh right uh, right around in the middle or you can wait for him to get to this corner and he'll definitely be open once he gets around this part of the field like i said i've already talked about the solo wide receiver he can go over the top or for a face catch now, if they're blitzing, a lot of times you'll find this tight end open. Otherwise, you can usually hit them like right here for a little quick pass. You're going to get about five yards there. Not nothing insane. Now, the running back in particular, you can block him if you want to. And I'll show you a quick tip on how to block him without doing three hot routes because you really don't want to do three hot routes this year because it's a little too much. Now, there are certain plays I'll come out and do three hot routes. Um, if the clock is stopped, you know, maybe I threw an incomplete pass, maybe I went out of bounds, maybe I called a timeout. There are times that you can do that, but most of the time you don't want to do three hot routes. So what I would do is when I come out of the huddle or come out of the play call screen, I will put Bryant on a drag and then I will hit L1 or LB and max protect. And what that does is it's going to block the running back and the tight end. And then from there, I will go ahead and put Miller on the out route. And as you can see, uh, we've we've got the necessary hot routes that we were looking for, but we didn't have to do three hot routes. Instead, we only had to do two. So that's going to save you a ton of time. Now, the running back is an option. If they're blitzing you like crazy, you can go ahead and just hit them. And uh, like I said, the double juke or the spin move is going to be the two best moves in the open field, um, no matter who you're using uh, as a halfback. So that's pretty much the breakdown of that play. Now, I know you guys are saying, what about man defense? The reads are exactly the same. Um, there are certain plays in this scheme that work better against man than zone. That's not one of them. This play works just as well against man or zone. Now, the next play we're going to look at is going to be the wide receiver fade. And I run this play completely 100% stock. I don't make any adjustments to this play. If you want to, I mean, you can put Miller on a little out route here. Um, otherwise, I just like this play stock, man. This is a really nice play. Like I said, I'm going to run back here. So you guys can see what's going on and we'll just throw the ball out of bounce like i said i don't want to run the play a million times otherwise it's going to make the video stretch out too long and i just want to get you guys in and out get you the information you need and then get you where you got to go so if they're playing zone he's going to stop there uh every time 
and then what that's going to do is open up this halfback right here i'll pass it right there and you know he's not going to get a ton of yards but he will get like three to five and then if they run man defense you can go ahead and hit him on a little precision down on that out otherwise if they don't have a flat zone or you know any underneath zones over there you can go ahead and put them on a um you know go ahead and just hit them on that out route if you want to you can put them on a streaker fade it don't really matter uh but either way he gets money now this dude right here he's gonna be wide open across the middle on zone defense for sure like right same as the last time he's just especially on this part of the field he's gonna be wide open but uh, he just gets open once he gets past that linebacker. As you can see, this linebacker here, this is the key linebacker. Because he's got to either guard this tight end or he's got to guard this route. So if that if that linebacker takes, um, in this case, Antonio Brown away, then your tight end is going to be open here every single time. So like I said, you've just got a plethora of options. You've got a lot of options right here. We're going to see if he takes the dude. Y is wide open. And this time, A is actually open. I don't know what happened, but he was actually just sitting there. Uh, I think the other linebacker went and took the running back that time. So sometimes you'll see this linebacker here. It's all built around this linebacker. He's essentially got three dudes he's got to decide from. So this time, he decided to go and attack the halfback, as you can see here. He took the halfback away. So what do you do? Just go ahead and hit the tight end. Real quick pass there. Otherwise, of course, again, you have him as an option. Now, they're probably going to use her. So... They're probably going to use it this linebacker. Maybe they take away Brown. And so you still have either the tight end or you have the running back available to you. And if they run cover two, what's nice is this dude right here, you can just precision out that and uh, he'll be wide open um, if they run a cover two style of defense. So that's pretty much this play in a nutshell. Like I said, I just run a stock, man. You can come out quick, hike it. Don't really matter. This is a really nice play, man. Nice play to mix in. And uh, next play we're going to be looking at here is going to be actually a screen play. And I don't really like screens out of single back. I feel like the pressure gets there too quick. But I will run makeshift screens out of the single back. And uh, let's just go ahead and run a dime cover three buzz here. So the only adjustments I like to make for this play is I'm going to put the tight end on a flat. And then I'm going to put the running back on a flat to the right. And then from there, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just give it out to your running back and uh, just make something happen. Now, sometimes you're going to get a good amount of yardage if your opponent's blitzing. If they're sitting in coverage all game, I mean, you'll probably get a couple yards. Nothing crazy, but you'll get a few yards, you know, just enough to do some damage and whatnot. As I'm doing some idiotic uh, moves with the halfback there, you're definitely going to want to, you know, be efficient in your uh, halfback moves. What moves you decide to do, you know, utilizing the stiff arm spin and the double juke um to your advantage but that's that play right there nothing crazy just a nice little play uh to get you a nice little makeshift screen and then we're gonna go ahead and look at the last play that we look at and that is the pa corner post and i will show you guys what i like about this play and you know it's pretty solid play pa corner post is really nice and uh it takes advantage of one concept that i've seen a lot this year that people use and that is just waiting for your dudes to get open now this play in particular brown and miller are going to be nasty because they're going to get open on the um across the field like before but you have two options this time as far as hot routes you can make to this play you can run it stock you can block the halfback uh, but more times than not, what I like to do is I like to put the halfback on a flat route um, to the right side here. And so what that's going to do is suck down the flat zone, and that's going to open up my main man, Antonio Brown, there. Now, as far as your other reads go, like I said, the solo wide receiver on the fade, you can go ahead and you can streak him if you're more comfortable face catching on a streak, or you can leave him on the fade, face catch that, or go over the top. doesn't really matter. Now... On this other side here, this pass to Brown is actually really nice. All you're going to do is a uh, quick precision out, or Bryant, I'm sorry about that. Um, but all you got to do there, if they're playing like a cover three or something, doesn't work against every defense, but against cover three, as soon as he makes that cut, just precision to the left. And uh, that's a nice little quick pass you can make pretty consistently. But uh, if that doesn't get open, that's perfectly fine as well. Like I said, I'm going to let this route replay this time, so you can see. But we got A open, that's definitely where we're going to go there. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and do the replay me method one time so we can get this video a little bit shorter instead of running it. Um, but as you're going to see, 
pretty much your main reads are going to be the two tight ends or the tight end and the slot wide receiver. Like I said, once he gets to this portion of the field, he's too deep for a flat zone. Now, if they if they play over the top, sometimes the flat zone will cover him. But in that case, sorry, I'm a little bit over all over the place. If that happens, just roll out and just run and suck down the flat zone and then make the pass. Or if the flat zone doesn't come and cover you, then you can just take off with the quarterback. Likewise, if they leave the right side open, you can either hit the halfback right away or roll out to the right and do the same exact thing. And you kind of got a little bit of a PA end around ish type little thing right there because you got the flat route, you got this guy, and then you got the quarterback rolling out as well as a deep route. So, you know, you got definitely several options. Now, the one negative of this play, it does take a little bit longer to develop. So if your opponent is blitzing like crazy, this may not be the play you want to do. That's maybe when you want to run uh, the other play, slot cross, or maybe sneak in that tight end screen. And I thought that was the last play, but I actually have one more that I forgot we haven't talked about. And I love this play a lot because it's really effective in the red zone. And it's really uh, a, just a really quick play that, you know, gets dudes open. And it's also our quick audible middle slats. So let's talk about that one time. Bang, 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 bang. Where's a cover three when you need it? Because everybody and they mama run cover three. All right, cover three press. Let's go. All right, so our hot routes here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, pretty much what I like to do is streak the tight end. And then I'm going to drag Hayward Bay, who is our solo wide receiver. And then you can block the running back. Or you can put them on a flat to the right. Now, that's three hot routes. I usually don't like making three hot routes. Like I said, another option you can do is to drag Hayward Bay, max protect block, and then put Miller on a streak here. Or, again, you can leave the halfback on the... You can put him on the flat to the right. It doesn't really matter. Whatever is up to you. Now, this play... I'm actually... Let's just let it run through one time so you can see everything develop. Um, and you'll just notice that I'm going to block the halfback this time. And we're just going to let it ride. And you will kind of see who will get open. I don't know if it will be clear enough, but we'll see. If not, we'll break it down anyways. So pretty much what you got here is you have a quick pass to the tight end. Now, you don't want to throw it right now. Uh, this, this dude is covering it pretty well. So if this linebacker jumps the flat or jumps the um, drag route here, then you got the tight end. But if he doesn't, if he stays on the tight end, then you got this drag route. You can hit him quick few yards. Now, this linebacker here has got a decision to make. And then we got two guys going across the middle. Then we can just hit this dude um, as he's on a slant route. Now, especially against cover three, this slant route is nasty because as soon as he cuts in, you can get money. Now, right there, this dude's right there. He probably jumped that pass. So in that case, you want to wait. But if he's not there... Definitely a really quick pass right there is going to be, you know, absolutely just just destroy the defense. Otherwise, you can hit him right now. There's no way the safety is going to jump this. If you want, you can precision down, but it's really not going to be a necessity. Now, if you got the halfback on the right, um, again, you can try and precision to the tight end. You can do something like that if you don't get the quick pass. Uh, but pretty much what this tight end is going to do is he's going to take away any deep zones. He's going to take away the deep zone on the right. He's going to take away the deep zone on the left. And then that opens up that pass to Bryant there. So that is the single back dice slot. I've broken down all of the runs, all the passes, and this is part three of the scheme. Make sure you check out part one and part two. Those are both on my channel. And part 1.5 is on the Madden Mastermind site. So, you know, just subscribe everywhere. Get your memberships. Check it out. And if you guys enjoy this breakdown of this video, Definitely check out the rest of the scheme as well. A lot of good stuff. This is just a single back. And I'm notoriously known for pistol. So that just lets you guys know. This is a pretty good scheme, man. This is what I use in all my wagers. This is what I've been using for months. This is what I'll be probably using the rest of the year. Really good stuff. I'm Moss the Chappie. Y'all be sure to drop a like and let me know how this scheme works for you in the comments below. And until the next time, it's been real. It's been fun. Y'all take care. Be smart. We gone.